Good morning, dude. Um, this time, on my last response to you, I didn't have a mic, so, as you can see, speaking quite closely to it. Um, I was really surprised, actually, that you focused on what you defined as span, um, which I would define probably um, as a vastly similar opposition to things that you've said. Um, I don't see the point later on, after you've been proved wrong, to say I used aliens and that um, as an example of the ridiculous things that are being said uh, in any sort of structured argument you would posit that um, as an example before progressing um, I feel that backtracking is kind of contradictory um, the thing that really really surprises me is that you say that you're educated and learned in various areas um, I have a degree in media and history Okay. Um, I run my own business, okay, I work on a number of um, sites purporting to support freedom of speech um, and like I said in my other response I've seen uh, examples, real examples um, of certain aspects of what Alex Jones has said. Um, I, I can't understand how you can say to be learned. Um, I would really be interested to see if you'd read any Foucault, um, if you'd read any Derrida uh, if you'd read any Jean-Paul Sartre, if you'd read any Franz Fanon, if you'd read any of these sort of cornerstone um, thinkers of the 20th century and slightly beyond. I'd be interested to know if you've read any Bertolt Brecht, which again is relevant, um, but again in a theatrical concept, uh, context rather. Um, I just find it alarming. You seem to go on and on and seem to be obsessed with the ins and outs and the structured empirical knowledge um, that can be provided from textbooks. Um, textbooks, in my opinion, um, are no form of educational literature. Um, books by people like the people I've just mentioned, um, discourses, discussions on issues. Textbooks literally lay facts, and facts are what are essentially agreed um, by the masses. Um, they are accepted. Again, read Foucault. You know, um, statements are only meaningful because they are bought into by the mass populace. Read Foucault, okay. Um, the interesting thing is that I've actually got a degree in media, okay, and history throughout that. I also did uh, a vast amount of research on the philosophy of history um, about the fact that history was really only told. The empirical histories were written by the people who won certain conflicts uh, and the people who um, were subjugated or lost did not have their histories taught really essentially by the people themselves it was always rewritten by the people either who won the conflicts or the people who became dominant therefore what I'm saying is your platform of knowledge your platform of empirical knowledge is based in in a way in a philosophical context on something that may not essentially be true um, and it is at this point where I, I champion Alex Jones for saying research, look into alternative viewpoints don't just take what's fed to you on a spoon through textbooks um, it says in your thing that you are about you're not actually 32 and you are over the age of 18 I would probably place you at the age of 19 or 20 and I do believe you probably didn't get into university or college um, the fact that you play a lot of computer games I share that same love um, but I really don't see any strength. It does seem that you're mimicking and you seem to be drawing a lot of um, warmth and happiness from this attention that you're getting. And fair play, you know, you may not get a lot of it in real life. <coughs> but a lot of the people who probably comment are well read, um, are educated, and it does a vast disservice to them to call them um, spammers or to define what they're writing as spam. If you've got 50 people all saying the same thing, that's not spam. One person writing the same thing 50 times, that is spam. But 50 people all saying the same thing, really, it's just people focusing on your argument uh, and taking it down. Um, yesterday I was thinking, you know, fair play to you, blah, blah, blah. But it does seem that this is for you some sort of ego exercise. Um, and I really can't see you as a true Wiccan, to be fair, because or, or pagan, as you put it. Um, I lived with a Wiccan witch. Um, I, I'm very well read and informed on paganism and you exemplify nothing um, of the people that I know who respect and live in a pagan or Wiccan context. Um, it does seem that you've got an awful lot of growing up to do. Um, 
you're not you, I don't think you're over the age of 20 to be honest I'm 28 years old and I've spent pretty much the majority of that time reading consistently um, I just feel that man you really need to wake up yeah and instead of reading textbooks and instead of saying that you, you're researched and you've got no accreditation at the end of the day you've not been to uni to do this stuff I got into thousands of pounds worth of debt just to get the knowledge that I've got and I really can't see you doing the same thing um, and in terms of doing good to the world you're a chemical welder and you seem obsessed with chemical facts with with them you picked on two highly contentious areas and ignored the vast amount of other things which have proven to be true um, your argument is slimming down to the size of a, of a needle um, and Man, I I just find it laughable. You know, I'm not an unreasonable person. I like to intellectually argue things over, and that's something I learned at university. Uh, intellectually, you need to back up your facts or posit a different viewpoint and back that up, um, and with corroborative evidence. And you've done nothing, nothing in that in that way. Um, <coughs> at the end of the day, dude, um, I'm going to get this down to how we're at 373 seconds, and I think I've said everything I've said. Um, about 5% of that's been waffle but about 90% of everything you said is waffle so I suggest that uh, you stop antagonising people if you want, you know, if you are a Wiccan um, <laughs> you should probably be thinking about making people chilled and happy and together opposed to sort of creating all of this um, buzz um, which essentially to me seems like a big ego trip for you